Hey, Sean here from speedqpview.com. I have a lot of unboxings to do, a couple that I know what they are, but this one right here, I have no idea what it is. But also, I have no computer, so if any videos come out between probably now and the beginning of September, I've done all the editing with my phone. So I'm pretty pumped about that. We'll see if this actually works out. But let's figure out what's inside this thing. Okay, I don't know what that says. It might be my name. It might not. If you know what that says, please let me know. You definitely don't just make things up. Okay, this looks like a lot of stuff from YJ. Okay, so we've got the MGC 3x3? Yeah, I might, these might some, be some older ones too. Um, let's see here. This is the new 7x7. Seven seven. Um, the Okay, these are a lot of different ones. Six by six. What is what is that? Yeah, okay, this is a lot of stuff from, from YJ. So YJ has sent me this. Um, some of it I've already gone over. So things that I've already talked about in the past, we've got the three by three. So let's look at that first real quick. Um, just sort of recap up this. This is actually what I use for blind solving now. Just because it's a cheap magnetic cube. Um, and it was like, I think like $8 normally. And it, it performs really well. Corner cutting's great. I was a little indifferent the first time I ever unboxed this one because I didn't really know how it was going to turn out and I was kind of a little bit clunky. Um, but once I've, once I've set it up and, and lubricated it, it's really nice. This one has a little bit of lubrication, I feel like, out of the box. But it definitely could be a little bit more. But a really nice budget magnetic 3x3. Uh, the 2x2 two two I have looked at also, um, but let's, let's open it up, see if anything's changed. Actually, well, the first time I looked at it, they had, where is the opening of this box? What is going on here? There we go. Okay, this is better. The, the first time I unboxed it, they had um, weird shades to it. I'm going to tilt the, the stand a little bit. There we go. So they had weird shades, and I actually had someone recently comment on, comment on one of my videos saying, that's not an actual MGC, and I said yes. Yes it was, it's just they've changed the colors. So those internals remind me a lot of the Yushin, the Yushin white. It's, it's kind of light. So this one's, okay, this one's not the MGC. I don't know if I've said that a couple times, but this is the new, this is the Yupo or Yu Long version two. It's a little bit slow, but it is magnetic and probably or possibly the cheapest magnetic two by two on the market right now. Uh, let's do, oh, well, I've got a face solved already. So, ooh, I think I might be able to plan out the entire solve except for AUF. So let's see how this goes. Nope, what did I do wrong? Ah, that's what it was, oh. I thought I planned an entire Ortega solve and then I messed it up. That is, that is perfect Sean right there. Um, I'm gonna tilt the stand just a little bit more. There we go. That way I'm in frame. I think I was getting out of frame a little bit. If I wasn't, then I just thought I was. Okay, so let's see here. So we've got, ugh, that was bad. Okay, not bad, kind of like the three by three. It's a little slow, um, could definitely use some setup. But if you want a magnetic cube, this is works really, really well. Corner cutting's great. Okay. Um, is this probably the version two MGC? Let's see, let's find out. I wanna get to the other ones, but just wanna make sure I'm not missing over anything. Um, so, nice box. Okay. So yeah, so this is a three by three. Let's see if anything's changed between that. Sometimes people update three by threes or cubes without actually saying anything. They just make slight adjustments. So very, very, very loose out of the box. So this is one, uh, we've got other springs in there and different tension tools, things like that. Um, this is one that I never really had an issue with. Let's, let's tighten a little bit. I never had any big issues with. This was, I <laughs> Oddly enough, probably like one of the most controversial new puzzles on the market because people became very extreme about it. Some people are like, it's fine. And other people are like, it's the worst cube ever made. 
and I think it just became so over exaggerated that people then needed to combat the it's the greatest it's sort of the worst cube ever made with saying it's actually really great or people then without even trying the cube just perpetuated what other people said but you know what it's an okay cube you could probably get the same if not really close times than you would on like a gan x than you would with this um yeah i found for myself with how tight to make it or how much loop to if you make it tighter than normal it tends to perform a little bit nicer. Like if you know, like this is way loose, but colors are good. Corner cutting is insane. But yeah, I'll just do a solve and I'll get to this other stuff. Actually, I'm gonna to get to those two first because I don't know what that is. Um, but okay, so let's check this out. Um, Already not really liking this. So what could I do? I could do this. Yeah, that worked. Then, oh my God, I didn't plan ahead. I was like just watching that part. Yeah. I don't know if anything's different than it, but this, okay, there's a lot of noise in the background. I'm gonna wait a minute. So yeah, I, I don't know if anything's different. It doesn't feel that much different, but it performs great. Um, so if there are any tweaks, they're definitely, it feels nicer with just how, I've had, not having really any catching issues at all. Um, it is quite loose, so I definitely, have, but I might be checking this out again and seeing how this, what I can do with this. Um, so what do I wanna do? I could do red. Hmm, how would I do this? I'd have to do something like, that was not a good idea. Um, and then, there we go. Okay, well, I'm gonna put that aside and look at these real quick. I can't see myself spending a lot of time with these ones. Whatever it is, it's definitely not a regular puzzle. Again, I have no idea how to open this up. This got a little bit smushed. Thank you, DHL, for that. Hopefully nothing's broken. Nope, nothing seems broken. Okay. So we've got magnetic cube blocks. Well, the magnets move. <laughs> that is so loud. And what is here? Extra guide cards. What is this? They're just like different shapes and different things you can do with them. So it's kind of like, I forgot what they're called. If someone can help me out in the comment section. Um, it's a square that's cut out into different shapes. Like there's a couple different size triangles. There's, and you can make it into a square, but you can also make it into different animals and different shapes and patterns. I feel like it starts with a P, but I don't know what exactly it is. But it's, this is very similar to that, but with cubes. So let's take this apart real quick. It's gonna be a longer video. Come on, get in there, get in there. There we go, okay. So this blue piece in that corner, I'm gonna kind of do it step by step. And light blue. And this. They're very Tetris-y shaped. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Whoop, already forgot how this went. Four, oh no. Uh, let's do five, six, Seven different shapes. There we go. Cool. They actually stick. They stick almost any way too. They're very loud. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna do too much with this. The loudness is a bit much, but I guess for kids, you know, that's kind of a nice tactical sound or feeling that will go with it. Okay, two more puzzles, six by six, seven by seven. So I haven't had any of either of these yet. 
One thing I've been super impressed with the new YJ line, this U, U long line that, or U long version two. I don't know if they're calling them like the U pose and you like this just says U long, um, but this was the U foo, I believe. If it if it was like the seven by seven version, so I don't know if it says that somewhere here, but I've been impressed with all of them because they're all decent and cheap magnetic puzzles. Okay, as far as size, this is not super small, but I think it's like the 69 millimeter like we've been seeing a lot of other ones. Ooh, six by six is very nice and fast. The seven by seven is a little more sluggish. Might just be lubricant that's in there. I don't know pricing, so if you're asking pricing, I don't know. You just have to wait till you can find them online. It's a bit loose. Let's get that screwdriver and tighten this just a bit. Come on, come on. Here we go. So just, I'm gonna just do a half a turn on each. One, two, come on, there we go. Honestly, the six by six is really nice. This is one that I feel like I could do just as well with this one than I do on any of the other top six by sixes. It's very fast right now. It's corner cuts fairly well, although I just get got a bit of a lock up and a pop right there. So it might be just need to be a little bit tighter. Okay, how does this go in here? I think like this. Can I just pop it back in? Maybe, come on. There we go. So yeah, I would highly recommend tightening these before using them, but performance is surprisingly good. Um, so anyone looking for a magnetic puzzle that doesn't want to spend a ton of money, these are good quality for sure. Three by three, two by two. Actually, I haven't had issues with any of them. 4x5 four four and 5x5 five five are good. I've been using the 4x4 four four a little bit just for fun. 3x3, um, three three, this is the not the Yulong, this is the MGC. Overall, like YG, I, I think, has been making a comeback with some of these things. So definitely check them out. I'll put a link in the description to, I know Speed Keep Shop has the 2, 3, 4, and 5, I believe, right now. These have just come out, so those will be out pretty soon. Don't know if they have these, so... Don't know where we could get those. But anyways, I know I didn't do much salt, but this is already a very long video and it's gonna take me forever to edit on my phone. So please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe, more content like this in the future, and it's always stop by speedkbview.com for more news and reviews.